that down there in the hall, sister. Why, that's Domini and Thilden. Was she ever here? Yes, she was just like you. She couldn't ever do her sums correctly either. again. And you, Mother Josephine. It's like coming home. She doesn't look very happy. Is she married? No, she isn't married. Is that why she isn't happy? No, my dear. You see, she devoted her life to looking after her invalid father, whom she loved very dearly. Why would that make her sad, sister? He suffered greatly for years. She gave up everything for him. And a few months ago, he died. Mercifully. Isn't she beautiful? Is she rich? Yes, and very kind. <laughs> you don't catch me being kind to anyone. I want somebody to be kind to me. Now, now, that's enough. Come right away from that window. Close the window, children. You remember, Dominic, this is your old room. Your old room, Dominic. I'm so delighted to see you again. I didn't notice you're not happy, my child. Perhaps the only time I ever was happy was here. But surely after your father's death, you were free to enjoy the world. The world? Yes, I traveled. Paris, Vienna, Del Viera. But in the midst of people, I was always lonely. Desperately lonely. I don't understand that. You always had such a longing for life, even as a child. Do you remember you once asked me, Mother, is it wrong to want someone to marry me? Is it wrong to want to be loved? Yes, I remember. And you showed me a picture. There still. The marriage at Cana. I remember you said he was at the wedding and he blessed it. Yes, Dominic. What am I to do, Mother Josephine? What am I to do? I come to you as I did when I was a little girl. Do? Life is filled with interesting things to do. You must go out and find them. But how, Mother? Where? Why not leave the cities you have found so lonely and try something different? Perhaps, perhaps the desert for a time. The desert, Mother? What will I find there? There in the solitudes. You may find yourself. In the face of the infinite, your grief will vanish and you will realize that life is larger, fuller than you dream. for one whole month, Father. Forgive me. I still cannot understand how men can find peace here. Walled in, cut off forever from the world. You are a soldier of France, my son. We are soldiers of God. One must have the call for either duty. Benedicite. 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 Benedict Domine, no setec tua dona, quada tua largetate summa sumptuare. Ac Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. May I go away, Father, to rejoin my company? 
You have never asked me where I came here. You asked for shelter here. We tried to make you comfortable. No, you have, Father. But I don't want you to think I came here out of idle curiosity. You see, my mother had always wanted me to enter the service of the church. Last year she died while I was on patrol deep in the desert. It seemed fitting somehow I should come here, if only for a little while. I understand, my son. You must take this with you as a small token of our pleasure in your visit here. For me? <laughs> a bottle of the liqueur we make at this monastery. We are very proud of it. You have reason to be. I have tasted it. It is superb. <laughs> I'll call Brother Antoine. The making of the liqueur is in his charge. Your praise will make him happy. Brother Gregory, call Brother Antoine from his work. I always feel a little strange talking to you while these men must keep silent. They have chosen their silence, Monsieur de Trevigny. They are happy in it. Petitions, penitentium agite, aprocum quavit enim, cranium cello. What is it? I release you from your vow of silence. Brother Antoine has fled. He has gone out into the world. He has broken his vows. Do not condemn him. Pity him. Whatever has caused him to take this awful step. Only agony and remorse can follow it. Let us never forget that for those who are weary, for those who have lost the way, there alone is peace. 